Okay, hello guys. This video will be a quick review of the Paranoid Android ROM. There's a 3.56 version of the ROM. Now this is running 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. We'll just head over to settings and take a look at it. Yeah, so okay, head down to about phone and settings and there you go the android version is 4.2.2 now being a cyanogen mod user for a long time there is many things that i actually missed out on this panoid android rom so the first thing that i missed out really would be the lock screen customization say like before in cyanogen mod i could actually add shortcuts say like music application uh, call application and the browser and the messaging application and the lock screen so that is not possible over here so that's the first thing that I really missed out because it actually helped a lot like I could directly push into the you know the phone dialer and stuff however you have a different type of lock screen customization over here but I guess it's not worth it like that one was much better again then you know the home screen was not properly resized so I actually took the launcher or the tribute jet application from the Rohan 007's ROM and flashed it inside this ROM so that's the Rohan 007's ROMs launcher that you are seeing right now. So the next thing that I found missing on this device or on this ROM was would be the performance option that is available in the Cyanogen mod. So that's not there. Then if we just head over to sound and head down. So on default notification sounds. Okay. So we don't get much of notifications like you know. There are just a few only of them. Like on Cyanogen mod, you have much more around 10 more of them. So that's missing, and I really miss that. So that's another plus point of the Cyanogen mod and stuff. So there are a few important things that are also missing out from this ROM. That the first one that would be on the dialer is the ability to block calls. Like the blacklist feature, which was present in the Cyanogen mod, is not actually present over here at all. So if I just go down and head over, you would see that the blacklist feature is completely missing from the Paranoid Androids. So one more thing is would be in the messaging application where, you know, like I could change the vibrate pattern and stuff, which is now like not really present at all. So say if I head down, there is no way to change the vibrate pattern or say if I want to change the, my smiley keyboard from the enter button and stuff, I can't get full timestamps and original timestamps and stuff that was really useful and was present easily on the Cyanogen mod ROMs. So now let's talk about the things that are better in this Panoid Android ROM. The first thing that would be better in this Panoid Android ROM is of course the Pi controls which we will see in a short while. Before that we can, as we all know the Panoid Android actually allows you to customize your device much more than Cyanogen mod with its hybrid settings. So let's head over to hybrid properties. So, like here you can just select a lot of stuff, like you can select custom color themes and stuff. You can get the stock UI, the stock UI modified. As you can see, it will show you what DPI you'll be switched on to. You can get the tablet mode and the tablet mode. So the tablet mode, you get uh, the status bar, combined status bar and the action bar down below over here. So, it's not really suited for this phone, as you know, we have a small screen and stuff. So we can access and like resize each and every app like we can change the color scheme of this app the you know you can change each app into the tablet mode or the tablet mode or on the stock ui you can change the dpi of each and every app separately and also the color schemes of those apps so like there's a lot to customize inside this paranoid android hybrid properties application so you can like head over through after installing it and find a lot of new stuff that you can actually tweak so it's really interesting. I love Panoid Android only because of this Panoid Android settings. And then we have the new feature, it's like the toolbars. If you have the toolbars, you will see like the Pi controls. Okay, so like we'll head over to full screen to actually show you the Pi controls. So let's head over to full screen. So that will be the trigger area. Now I have none Pi disabled, so I'll just turn it to normal. And if I pull it out from the right side now. There you go. That's the Pi controls that will show me my notifications and other stuff like the battery percentage. And this side will again show me the time and the battery percentage. So that will be the home, you know, the task switcher, the menu button, the home button, and the back button. So we can like easily change positions of this 
pie control like now I have changed it to the top so now that's over there let's change it to the left hand side now it will be on the left hand side so we can actually like you know not require the notification bar at all with this pie controls and you get a full screen applications so if you just leave it over there you will automatically move on into the notification tray and you know when you leave it out over here you get into your quick toggles so that's really handy but as I would say that it just lags a bit when you have you know enabled pie controls so that's a bit of a lag and a drawback over there so I'll just head back to normal mode and besides all that stuff you know this ROM really lags in important places like you know suppose you are typing out a message in whatsapp and suddenly a call comes like the keyboard won't like go down and like phone would hang for some times so like this wouldn't shouldn't be your go to rom you can just experiment with it and stuff but it's ready for daily usage but it lags in such certain places which is like really annoying and stuff so i found it really annoying like say you know the task switcher will take up some time to come along and stuff and this is really annoying from time to time so I guess this ROM is definitely ready for daily usage but certain lags would annoy some people while some it will not so you can try out this ROM on yourself and see if the you know if the lags suit you and stuff so it does it will lag like it will lag from time to time and but however you can like customize a lot of stuff but as I have said you miss out a lot of features that was present on the Cyanogen mod which is not present over here at all so like that's a drawback so otherwise then that the Bluetooth the GPS the Wi-Fi everything works like everything standard that's there over here works and the other the system UI except the launcher is like really well resized and stuff so that's good to go with so like that would be enough from this Sanjin of the sorry the paranoid Android ROM review you can subscribe us for more like this video if it really helped you to choose this ROM and you can subscribe us for more videos like the Halo project review coming up and the Android 4.3 reviews coming up on this device. So, I'll see you guys in the next next time and in the next video. Till then, bye bye.